Today exhortation, date Wednesday the 10th of August 2022. Teacher, Joshua Osidohanwin. Topic, Knowing God. Text, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 8-9. Is it possible to know God? Here I have to introduce a term, a big and yet vital word. The Bible teaches what is called the incomprehensibility of God. It means that God cannot finally be comprehended or understood by human beings. It means that we can read around the doctrine of God and try to grasp it with our minds, but by definition God is incomprehensible, we can never know Him in the ultimate, final, and complete sense. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Read about this also in Romans 11.33 and 1 Timothy 6.16. God dwells in that light that no one can approach. God in his eternal and absolute being is incomprehensible, yet we see that though God is finally incomprehensible, he is nevertheless knowable, he cannot be comprehended, but thank God, he can be known. Let us be clear about this. There are those who would have us believe that God cannot be known in his real being, that he can only be known in his dealings with men and women, but that is a position that is quite wrong when you bring it into the light of biblical teaching, the knowledge that we have of God's being will never be anything but a partial knowledge but though it is partial, it is nevertheless real, though it is not complete. It is true knowledge, enough to lead us to glorify him. And we have this knowledge of God because it has pleased God himself to give it to us, a thought to ponder, though God is incomprehensible, he is nevertheless knowable, he cannot be comprehended, but he can be known. Declarative prayers, let peace like rivers flow into my life. I shall know rest in my life, my family, and business in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be short of great and mighty things in my life. The Lord shall decorate my life with his benefits by his hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says you're the God of all comfort. Let the comfort of God surround me with his comfort round about all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your word says you'll give grace and glory and you'll not withhold anything good from me. I decree that my life shall be an expression of your goodness and grace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that your favor and mercy shall be my companion all of the days of my life. My life shall not be short of goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pronounce abundance and surplus into existence. My life shall not be short of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation and stay blessed.